Wow! Wherever you might be watching me from all over the world, a warm greeting to your heart. My name is Shion Akishon. I'm using this medium to introduce to you a powerful program on Safe Omega Media. Titled, A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. What is that seed in you that is yet to discover? Join me on this program to discuss on how we can discover the seed in us. A seed that can allow you to shine in life. According to the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says, Arise and shine for your glory has come. Without you discover the seed in you, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to grow your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to nurture your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to use your seed to impart life positive, you can never shine. Join me on, on Facebook Live at Safe Omega Media. Thank you and God bless you. But tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you. Glory, glory, glory to God Almighty for His good, for His wonderful, for His mercies endured forever. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Moment with Shame and also Pastor Mrs. Esther Okunoga on a platform tag is said in me. This is a platform where we want to encourage you on how you can identify your grace seed. What is that your seed? Your seed is your talent or your gift, your potential, what God has deposited in you that you can use to impact this world positive. This is a platform to encourage you. Probably you are struggling in identifying your seed, or probably you have started using your seed, but for some reason, you stopped using it. We want to encourage you that hmm, God has worked so hard on you, and to whom much is given, much is expected. Therefore, you need to use your seed, you need to use your talent or your gift to impact this world positive before you depart on this world. Tonight, I have a great woman of God here with me to share her experience in identifying a seed. We want to listen to our experiences in identifying a seed. Also, a greater challenge during this journey and how she was able to overcome. Please kindly share this program to encourage other people by sharing on your page. Call friends, call family to tune in because I believe we will surely have testimony tonight. Our experience will definitely transform your life. Trust me, I believe and I'm assuring you, if you are able to share this program, you are saving a soul for the kingdom. And I pray God Almighty will continually to open our inner sight to identify our great sin. God bless you. Also, can I remind you, during this segment of interracial section, you are all welcome to contribute by typing your answer on the on the platform or by calling the studio number which is 07944278530 i repeat 07944278530 and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of jesus you are welcome pastor thank you my god, god bless, bless you, you thank too. you so much my god bless you thank you for coming thank you my <laughs> kindly thank introduce yourself fully to our viewers um god bless you all my name is um, pastor mrs esther Okunoga from el shaddai people of Bono. so i bring greetings from the church of god and from my family as well hallelujah. thank you so much for having me on your program hallelujah hallelujah god bless you ma hallelujah. i would like you to go back to the source for the benefit of people that are seeing you for the first time what is your education background your christian's life how do you started how are you able to encounter christ jesus can you share please i bless the name of the lord that um, um I went to uh, Adiola Ritola Primary School, if I can remember. <laughs> and I went to um, Anglican Girls Grammar School. 
and I also went to Ogun State Polytechnic, Abe Okuta, and I went to um, Ogun State University, okay. where I studied um, political science okay. to the glory of God. Hallelujah. And uh, my coming to know Christ, um, I, I I didn't come from a Muslim, I didn't come from a Christian home, sorry. Oh, okay. I lived with my mom, who happens to be a Muslim. So I think that's what I know. I know about about we go to mosque, but I'm not really a strong Muslim anyway. Okay. But we go to mosque and uh, we do some things. So so my coming to be, becoming a Christian or knowing Christ is okay. it's just um, beyond my own understanding and my own imagination because the way I met with the Lord it's um, it's so powerful. Oh, wow. It's so powerful because I wasn't preached to anyway. Wow. Yes, nobody preached to me. I had an encounter with the Lord Himself. Okay. So can you share the experience? I would love to <laughs> listen to that experience, please. And I'm sure people on the platform will also love to listen. Um as I said earlier, you know, I where I came from, I don't know anything about being a Christian or being born again. Though my dad was um, an Anglican, but still yet, I lived with my mom who happens to be a Muslim. Okay. And um, both the Anglican and the Muslim, I see it as a play play. So, <laughs> so I, I was, I, did, I just believe, my, you know, my belief then was that as long as you are good to everyone, you will go to heaven. So I don't believe that uh, people dying go to hell or the, I just believe that you know, once you are good, once you are to, good people. You, to, go to people, you, are, you go to heaven. And I was just living my life, yeah. enjoying my life and, uh, you know, living my, my wayward life. Yeah. Because yeah. before yeah. I yeah. met with the Lord, I was a bit wayward. I love parties. I love parties. I, like, I love going to parties. I, you know. But I remember that when I, I went to um, Moshida Biola Polytechnic, then it was Abel Kuta, Obuste Polytechnic then. Okay. They used to call it Ubu State Polytechnic, but now it's Moshuda Biola Polytechnic. I remember that I went there and um, when I went to Ubu State Polytechnic, then, I was a member of the Care Guide. So okay. I know gyration, we gyrate, <laughs> we go from <laughs> one poly to another, we need, we need, oh, wow. gyrating, singing, you know. Mm. And then um, one day, we were invited for a lecture. I remember that we were to have an um, office management because I was doing a uh, biz business admin business administration. So um, one of the lecturer told us that we should come that very day for uh, you know that we are having a lecture. For getting getting to school, we were told that that the man said he won't be able to come. That we should go back home. And uh, that day, I didn't know. I was just feeling somehow, you know. And I just told my friend, I said, I feel like going back home. And they said, oh, but it's unlike you. I said, I don't know. I just, I feel like sleeping, you know. This heavy sleep just came on me. I just, I feel like sleeping. So I said, I want to go back home to sleep since we are not doing They said, I'll be like, I said, no, 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 I'm not doing any gyration today. I didn't know that it was God that was speaking to you. Yes. So when I got home, I remember that when I got home, it was around after 12 in the afternoon okay. this heavy sleep just came it was like something was just pushing me go to and sleep, sleep. Go and, sleep. and uh, lo and behold i took off my clothes and i just locked my door and uh, i slept up and when i slept all i i saw was that i just saw that the whole world came to an end okay. i saw the whole world came to an end and everyone was both black you know, color, tribe, tongues, every one of us, young, or we were all standing in front of a throne. <laughs> so, we were all standing and we just, everybody was Before waiting. that time, sorry to cut you off, yes, ma'am. Before that time that you had that revelation, have you ever been taught about how everyone looked like? No. No, because no. you said you are Muslim, even I, though... I, I never thought of how ever because I never, I, I never even think of ever because we... They, we are in the world, we are enjoying what so never be ever never comes to my mind, you know. I never I, I never in the day even you know think of maybe there is a place. I know that there is ever but I don't you know I don't 
think of it, I don't, it doesn't come to my memory. Okay. So I don't know anything about maybe heaven. And I know that they used to say the uh, Jahannam or something that when Muslim, if you, there is a fire, there is, there is a, there is a, a Alujana. So, but I'm not bothered. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not bothered. I don't, I'm not bothered whether I'm, I'm just living my life anyway. I'm just mm -hmm. living my life, just living it. I'm not bothered maybe uh, death or I'm not really bothered. I'm not because I'm really enjoying the world. So <laughs> because I was born with a silver spoon, so the money is there. So <laughs> I was born into a wealthy home, very very wealthy home. I came from a very wealthy background, mm -hmm. a very wealthy world. When I mean wealth, yes. Uh, because I know in you know important personality a lot of people I, which I cannot start mentioning names mm. through my through my mom I, I, I was able to know you know many governors presidents kings mm. great musicians and you know so because I was enjoying the world I never thought of any okay. anything like that so from your revelation you are able to see that the world came to an end you saw a throne what happened next? so I saw a throne on that throne, a voice was coming from the throne, but we couldn't see the person on the throne. So we're all standing, and in front of the throne, there was a table. Okay. And on the table, there were books. Okay. And there was a book, one book, books and, and a book. book. And the throne was like this. The table was in front of the throne. The books were there and one book. And there were angels at the right-hand side of the throne. And the left-hand side were these very horrible demons. Oh. Okay. Very, very horrible demons, okay. and we were all standing. Every one of us was standing. We were shivering. We were shaking, you know, because why? We were shaking. So all of a sudden, the judgment just began, and the first, the voice on the throne mentioned the name. The first person that was called happened to be a friend of mine. So when the voice mentioned the name of the person, when your when your name is being mentioned, you will come. You will stand in front of the judgment. You will st step out from the other people. You will stand in front of the throne. So when he got there, the voice on the throne said that his name was not written in the book of life. This and that. Before I knew it, the demons took him. And the voice again now called the second person, which happens to be my name. So he now called my full name. So I stood, I came and I stood in front of and I said, Lord, do you know my name? I said it. And he now said to me, before you were formed, I know you. And I never knew that all these things were in the Bible. <laughs> I never knew that they all were, I didn't know that it was written in the Bible. So I now said, Lord, do you know me? He now said to me, before you were formed, I know you. Which, after I became born again, I now saw it in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. Mm. But I never knew that there was something. So when I now said, Lord, do you know me? Because he mentioned my own name. He said, yes, before you were formed, I know you. Then he now said, my name is not in the book of life. And the Lord started telling me the way I lived my life. Yeah. And I started saying it as it was. I said, yes, Lord, I did this. I did this. I did that. I did, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on me. I started crying. And the Lord was telling me that, ah, you committed. I said, yes. He said, there was a great sin that you committed. He mentioned it. I said, yes, Lord, I know. I know that sin. I know. I, I was saying it. I was, other people were shivering. Everybody was, I started crying. I was shedding tears. I was pleading for mercy. Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy. So the Lord did not send me to this side. He told me to stay aside. He, he, didn't, he, he, didn't, he didn't conclude on me. He only said to me, stay. I so said, I was standing very close to where the angels were. So I, I, I stood there. And the judgment continued. The judgment <coughs> continued. The judgment continued. The judgment continued. All the people that were being judged were going to decide. The demons were taking them. The, nobody, no one, one, no one like you came to the other side. Other side. They were just going. They were going, up, going, going. Then after a while that I've been there for so long, I now came back in front of the throne and I, I stood there and I said, Lord, I am hungry because I've been standing there for so long. You know, that made, that question, anytime I remember, I see ask myself, what made me say that? So when I said, Lord, I stood and I said, Lord, I am hungry. And he said, you are hungry. I said, yes. Yeah. Then he stopped the judgment. The judgment was on hold. 
a boss and he called you know there were angels and he mentioned one angel he said angel gabriel jesus you are too much when he mentioned the name of the angel gabriel gabriel stood and he went and then by the time he came back he brought something like a beautiful dish beautiful with the way i'm telling you it's like i'm seeing it as i'm talking you no know, with design with flower beautiful so when he came they put the books aside and he put that thing and the thing that was on on that flat plate it looks like communion you know the only communion that we right. used to make it was like a communion so when he put it down i saw myself putting it in my mouth and it was like i was me and the person on the throne were dining so i was putting it in my mouth then after a while he now said to me are you full up i said yes lord he said now i want to send you back into the world wow. so when he now said to me i want to it's long i'm just you know I'm, so when he now said to me are you full up i said yes lord he said now i want to send you back into the world so as he said i want to send you back into the world i did like this so he started you know the ten commandments mm -hmm. thou shall not do this so the lord started reading the ten commandments to, to me you. that thou shall not do this thou that so as he was saying it he was saying to me so on the day of resurrection <coughs> bless you man yes. you will be among the people that will resurrect as he was telling me those commandments thou shall not have other god thou shall. then as he was saying it he was saying to me so that on the day of resurrection you will be among the people that will resurrect so that on the day of resurrection you will be among the people that will resurrect as he was saying it then it was like i was walking back <laughs> To the earth and i was saying yes lord yes lord yeah. and i opened my eyes wow. by the time I, it was around by the time i opened my eyes i remember i laid down around after 12, 12. in the afternoon hmm. i woke up late night wow. to let you know how long hmm. by the time i woke up my pillow was wet hmm. i didn't know that as i was crying that crying the tears, so i hmm. was crying all my eyes were so red and my pillow was so when i woke up i was like what type of what type of bad dream is this mm. then i had a knock on my door it was my junior sister's friend mm. she now came in i said where where are you coming from this night she now said auntie what happened you've been crying see your face is so red and i said come in i said i had a bad dream i said i had a bad dream but i didn't even know that as i was crying that my tears was coming i said tell me the dream and I told her, I said, this is a dream I had. <laughs> she now said, ah, auntie, you're going to be a pastor. That was the first time I would hear pastor. Yeah. I said, what did you say, say pastor? I said, pastor, yeah. what, 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 what kind of work did you do? What? She said, pastor, pastor, people that work for God. I said, pastor. I said, how much do they, do they normally pay them? What type of job is that? <laughs> so I got angry. Mm -hmm. I said, you look at me. You said me, I will become a pastor. Get out of my room. Okay, he said, please, you will, not, you will not be a pastor. You will not have sorry. I said, you know, something in me just... I said, why will you say I will be a pastor? Who are pastors? How much do they get? How much did you get me? So she now said, I'm so sorry. You will never be a pastor. So I was so disturbed. I had to travel home. So I went to tell my mom that I had a bad dream. So my mom now said, okay, that the driver, she took me to one of our... A mouth a fast. So when he never took me to the Afa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> when we got to Afa, I told him I said I had a bad dream. He said that I should know what that that bad dream will never come back. So they took one line and make all two they did they, they, all this black black something, gave it to me that I should drink. So I drank it and he said, ah, it will never happen again. So I said, Thank you, sir. I remember that was in July. That year. July. August, September, October. Three months after, mm. I slept again. <laughs> the world came to an end again. Mm. Okay, Jesus. The world came to an end again. The way I saw it, that everybody was standing, it repeated itself again. But the difference between the first one and the second one was that I saw the Lord Jesus the second time. The first one, I only saw the throne. The voice of God was coming out of the throne because the Bible says, no one sees God and live. But the second one, I saw the Lord Jesus standing. Lord Jesus, I saw him standing. And everyone we were all standing, waiting for judgment. Then, the right hand side again, I saw angels. I saw them with white robes. 
Mm. White robe. Then this left again. All these horrible demons are there. So Jesus was standing, wasn't happy. Mm. Then I stepped forward again. I stood in front of him. The same thing that the Lord said was what Jesus was saying. Then I started crying again. And I said, Lord Jesus, I have asked the Lord to forgive me. Please help me to beg the Lord. Help me. Have mercy on me. The same thing you are saying is what the Lord said. And I've asked the Lord to forgive. Then the Lord just picked me and took me to where the angels were standing. And they put the white robe on me and I woke up. <laughs> that was the beginning. That was the beginning of my, of my journey. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that was the beginning of my journey. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm filled already. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. <laughs> Let me quickly acknowledge our people on the platform. You are all welcome to this wonderful program. Um, tonight I have my wonderful pastor, Mrs. Esther Okunoga, on the platform. She's here sharing her experience in encountering our Lord Jesus Christ. This is awesome. In fact, it was so touching what she was saying. It was, in fact, is a deep revelation. And for someone to be able to even sleep and remember, it means that he or she would be the right person to be chosen because God loves her mm -hmm. and he has shown her how heaven looked like, the way everything will happen. I was even asking her, have you ever... Um, have they told you about the throne before you slept? She said no, because she was a, a Muslim background. So it, it shows that God chooses whoever that is ready to choose as a vessel yeah. unto honor to his work. And God has chosen her to go on this journey. This is deep. If you are just joining the program, please, when we finish, go back and watch all over again. I'm promising you I'm going to challenge my drama group we are doing this as a stage film or, or a, yeah. because this is awesome and this is Amen. what people need to to see in acting so it will stick to our brain mm -hmm. it, so we can see how heaven look like we can, we can see how God loves all so much mm -hmm. he, she, he gave him he gave her first chance second chance again mm -hmm. because that few three months god is expecting her to take a step mm -hmm. but unfortunately even her mother doesn't understand the dream mm -hmm. he thought it she thought it was a bad dream so they have to take her to someone that did not even understand mm -hmm. they said she will never have that dream mm -hmm. god is waiting for that three months mm -hmm. for her to start that journey in coming to him and also winning so for him but fortunately that has not happened she has to have another dream because that has not happened so she has to add another dream because god still need her in this journey this is awesome trust me i beg you if you are just joining please try to watch all over and i pray our life will never remain the same Amen. at the beginning of the show i said if you connected with us if you are if you are you know just joining by by jo uh, joining with your faith you will see difference i said it earlier on that yes just connect and i pray that our life shall be transformed and Amen. this is just the beginning it's just that time doesn't permit us sometimes but tonight we shall go more deeper into this because mm -hmm. it's what we need at this end time mm -hmm. the end is at name mm -hmm. and it's, it can happen at any time mm -hmm. can you imagine the world is coming to an end now where will I be? Where will you be? Mm. That is a great question for us to answer. Now let me quickly acknowledge my peoples on the platform. My beautiful mother, Esther Noah. God bless you, my. I can see your typing. God bless you. God will support you. God will elevate you. Thank you for joining. It shall be well with you in Jesus' name. I can also see my wonderful mother, prophetess, from me, Ogati Mary. She said good evening. This Good evening. God bless you, man, for joining. God bless you. I've challenged you. I've challenged the drama group that we are going to perform this wonderful story. This Amen. is awesome. Trust Amen. me. This is awesome. This is what people need to listen to, to know how evil looks like, to know how the hell looks like. So we have that full understanding of what we are doing. God bless you, man, for joining. My beautiful mommy, Tony Shobande, God bless you, man. Thank you for being there at all time. God will continue to increase you in Jesus' name. My beautiful sister, Ruth Lawani, she said, bless you, daughter of Most High God. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Thank you for joining. God bless you too. I do really appreciate my beautiful friend Bukola Oguluye. God bless you for joining. She says second chance indeed. Yes, what a great chance to repent. What a great chance to come back to the Lord. What a great chance to live that wayward life. In fact, this is awesome. And I pray God Almighty will 
enable us to enter that kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Please kindly share this to glorify the name of the Lord. Share on your platform. You might be saving a soul by you sharing this program. Trust me, you are not proclaiming me, but God Almighty. Amen. All we need to do is just to share on our page for people to watch and be blessed with it. You can never tell who is about to commit suicide. You can never tell who is about to give it up in life. But you sharing this and they listen or watch it, you can save their life. Do Amen. share and it shall be well with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Moving forward. I don't even know where to start, but God will teach us and direct us. In this journey of yours, even before you are, okay, you are a pastor by his grace. <laughs> How do you become a singer? How are you able to identify that say that you are a singer? Let's move from there. Praise <clears throat> the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, you know, um, before I came to know Christ, I didn't really detect myself. I don't even know. I know I exist, but I don't really know who I am. I wanted to be a lawyer because when I was praying, I said I want to be a lawyer. I want to be standing in the gap for people. When the Lord said no, come and stand in the gap for them. In me, I'll be oh, wow. praying. Come be a lawyer for them and be bringing their case cases to me. <laughs> so. I was telling my sister while I was coming, I said, I never knew I would become a pastor in life. I never knew I would even know how to, I know how to sing, you know, I never knew. But it was when I came to the Lord that the Lord, you know, started revealing to me. Because after I all those two revelations and I eventually became born again, I followed a friend to a church. And I didn't even want to follow her, but I just decided that I'll follow her. And I didn't even know why people were standing. I stood up and we were told to take a step of faith. We came forward and uh, we were told to confess our sins. I said, I'm not a sinner. I've never committed sin. So which thing will I confess? I'm not committing anything. Mm -hmm. I met me by I've committed so many atrocities. And if you see me then I was like mixed race. I was white. Wow. Ah. Very, very white. You can't see any traces of black on me. White from head to toe. So when they said, I said, no, yeah, i never seen before. I can't mm. it. I can't, why not confess it? See, for what's it? But after a while, something just said, why don't you? So I closed my eyes and I said, Lord, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. And the person now said, we should say the sinner's prayer. After saying the sinner's prayer, and he prayed for us. After I prayed for us, a man, huge man, walked out of me. What I saw him, not that I saw he walked out of me. And I was looking at the pastor and I was looking at the church members and telling them that look at the, look man. At the man. So when he came out of me, he was so angry. And he started looking at me, you know, like this. He was so angry. And I was looking at him. That was how he left me. <laughs> Instantly. He came. I saw him, a huge man, walked out of me, that old man. And look what I was telling them that can't you see? So he left. And from there, you know, I started my walk with the Lord. Started. How did I know that I have the seed of singing in me? One day I was at home. I was just reading, meditating. And the Lord spoke to me. I said, I should go to my pastor's house. There is somebody there that I will meet. And I'm like, go to my pastor's house. Okay. And as God will have his way, I just, I got up, dressed, and I went to my pastor's house. When I got there, my pastor now, I said, the only thing said I should come now. I'm here. Then she now introduced me to a man. He said, meet a pastor of He said, he's a music director, this and that. So he now, the pastor greeted me and said, how are you? I said, fine, sir. I now sat down. And he, that was how he now said, okay, do you sing? I said, no, I don't sing. He said, okay, let's just try. Let's try. So some songs that he wrote. So he, he said, we should sing. And I started singing and he was playing guitars. He said, ah, you have the voice. You can sing. I said to so my pastor now said, Well, you have to join the choir. So I so that was how I joined the choir and that was how, you know, I the Lord opened my eyes to let me know that there is something that he, he has put inside of me that I need to begin to work on. That was how the you started. I started. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God in Jesus' Amen. name. My Amen. beautiful mother Esther now says, Satan you look about with the laying me. Amen. May Satan de may he depart from us Amen. all in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Oh wow, what a good 
<laughs> experience. Trust me, what a good experience. I think I, God has delivered you from that great man. Amen. And I believe you will never have way in your life anymore in Jesus' name. Amen. Moving forward, what is your greatest challenge in this journey? <laughs> you know, when I became born again, it was tough. Oh. Ah, it was really tough. My Ah, it was tough. I had to because I was born with a silver spoon, but when I became born again, I had to eat limbo because of my new love I found in Christ. So, mm. so, so, so maybe due to being a Muslim background, yes, okay. you know, it's not easy. I know. When a Muslim says that, <laughs> it's not easy. So. Some members took me in and then um, I started living with them in a, like an uncompleted building. I know me that I was born with a silver spoon now began to sleep on the mat on the floor. All my side will be dirty. I will be sleeping on the on, I sleep on the floor but on the mat. Oh. And when I want to have my bath, I will use a soda or omo. You know the omo that we use. <laughs> then I use a palm oil as my spirit. You know, God, God just took me out <laughs> and took me there. And then it, the time I read the story of Moses, I was like, this is talking about me. I was born in a palace. <laughs> but God took me to the window there. <laughs> so that time it was really tough, you know. Very, very tough. Mm. No eating. And I would try to go and preach the gospel of Christ. Go and, you know, there was a time my mom had to send the army to the church to come and arrest me. It was, it was, it was, <laughs> it, uh, it was, but at times I do ask myself, how was I able to stand? It was really tough, man. It was tough. Imagine somebody coming from, and at the end of the day, with nothing and then, uh, if you see Gary to drink, you'll be thanking God. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you know, I bless the name of the Lord. I never look back. Hallelujah. I know. Hallelujah. So how are you able to overcome these challenges? Because I would like your testimony to encourage someone. Yes. Um, you know, how I overcome it, thank God I have a brethren around me okay. that mm. are really supporting me in prayer. Pray, mm. We will pray, we seek the face of God. And I have brethren that, you know, they, they, they come, they bless me as well. Not only praying with me. They come, they pray with me, they encourage me, mm. share the word of God. And me, myself, mm. I speak to God. Most of I worship. Mm. You know, I worship God, I speak to God. I did not allow that situation to overwhelm me. So I, I speak to mm. God, I pray to God, and God surrounds me with, you good know, people. with good people mm. that really, that God really used for me. Hallelujah. So, and during that time, all I was doing, I was just looking unto Jesus, mm. the author and the finisher of my faith. Oh, hallelujah, wonderful. Amen. Thank you, my God bless you Amen. for sharing this with us. It shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Um, probably you are just joining us. I can see some people that are just joining. Uh, my beautiful mother, Adefunke Oguleke, thank you, Ma. God bless you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for your contribution. When we get to the segment of interaction section, section from the scripture, please do contribute. It's just a way for us all to learn and also to remind us what the Bible has told us that we should always meditate in the book, um, in, in, in the Bible, so we don't forget all what God has commanded us. It is so important, trust me. Even the Bible makes us to understand that this word will be a light unto your faith. And whenever we want to stumble, whenever we want to be wearied, whenever we even forget that God is there, is there to direct us mm -hmm. to trace us back to God Almighty. So it is important. So that is what the segment is for. It doesn't matter how knowledgeable you are. We just want to share experience in um, in, in the scripture and I pray God Almighty we continue to end that house wisdom knowledge and understanding in the mighty name of Jesus I'm uh, moving forward thank you for sharing that with us and it shall be well with you um, about your music career how many album have you done in the past what are you aiming to do in the future can you share with our viewers um, to the glory of God I've, I've done um, three albums okay to the glory of God I've done three albums and I I'm believing God that God is still moving me forward to Amen. do more by the grace of God. Because most times I allow the Holy Spirit to give me what to, to, to write on, to, to sing. You know, I always ask God to give me, I, I tell God, I said, I don't want to sing what people are singing. Because God has 
as many songs oh, as yes. so most of the time i get my inspiration mm -hmm. while i anytime i'm worshiping god or i'm praying i always get inspiration and i have my phone my recorder with me so okay. that i'll quickly so i believe god still have more to give me though i have more that the holy spirit has given me so i'm believing god by his grace that god will give me the enablement to be able to to, to, to do more because i know that they are god in heaven mm. i know that i know how many cities that it will have been recorded mm -hmm. and before you come back you must do maybe 50 or 100 so i'm looking unto god that i must you know make sure that i offload everything everything mm. by Amen. the grace of god Amen. which is so important <laughs> we need to um give it back to god mm. all he has deposited in yes. us we need to give it back to him before mm. we depart in this world it means that we are fulfilling our purpose trust mm. me if you are able to do that even that is when when people die they will say oh an icon who oh, a legend because mm. of what they have done yes. before they departed so it is important for us to fulfill our purpose and Amen. i pray god will enable us all in Amen. the mighty name of jesus Amen. as we are moving forward we're going to listen to one of our music now i want you to um listen to our beautiful voice then she will let us sing for us with a natural voice so there won't be any duro of the <laughs> of the computerizing mixing. God bless you. Please stay tuned.
testifying to that a wonderful song the bible says whosoever that call the name of the lord shall be saved and so it is good to know how to mention to call that name because it's dear to work for us and i pray his name will be glorified forevermore in the mighty name of jesus my beautiful um uh, mother hester noah has that how can we get a copy ma so I don't know if you have a copy. Yes. Okay. I, I have a copy in the cabinet. I will leave some with you. Okay. So I will collect one from her and I will know how uh, to, uh, we know how to send it to you. And can I as well refer you to her YouTube page where you can listen and be blessed to more of her song, Esther Okonoga on YouTube channel. Once you type in the name, you will find all her beautiful songs there. They are all awesome. Trust me, it will surely bless your life. Please Amen. tune in there and listen and watch the songs and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, moving forward now because of our time as we are running. The time is running so fast, but then we still have to do what we need to do. Now I would like you to share with our as you told us how you received your inspiration during your prayer section, yes. during when, I'm reading the Bible. when you are reading the Bible, Even when you are Bible study, and it does come yes. and it flows just like that. Yes. Oh, glory to God yes. Almighty! Yes. As we are moving forward, I would like you to please share with our viewers how are you able to sustain what you are doing up to this moment? What are you doing to nurture and grow your sin? Um, I think the way I've been able to sustain myself is. You know, prayer, you know, there's nothing you can do without prayer. Okay. Prayer, the, even Jesus Christ said we should wash and pray. Mm -hmm. So I pray, I read the word of God. Mm -hmm. And um, I think, yes, at times when I fast, I fa fasting and prayer is a, fasting the and making, prayer is a, the making. yeah, okay. is part of what I, you know, that helps me to, to be able to go on. I know, yeah, wonderful. Amen. Now, can you share with our viewers how you can um, please encourage somebody that are yet to identify their seed? Because I know many people, probably they might even be using the seed, mm -hmm. but they never recognize that is their purpose. That is what they need to use to be better in life or to impart people's life. But they are just using it for using sin. Mm. And also, there are many that already started the journey, but for some reason, because of the challenges, they stopped doing it. How can you encourage someone? Yes, you know, um, how do you even know your seed? Your seed is what you love doing. Mm. You know, you love to do it without being paid for it. Mm. Maybe there are some people you just love cooking, you love singing, something that you just love that comes from within that when you, when you are doing it, you are happy, you are enjoying it. So when you find out that that is your seed, then you need to let it grow. And one thing, number one thing is that make sure you surround yourself with people that have the same vision. Because if you are carrying a seed and you are in the midst of people that are not seeing the seed you are carrying, they will kill it. That's yes. right. 
So when you know you dictate, you are able to dictate your seed. Mm -hmm. My seed is that I love. You know, some people they just love to be caring for people. Mm -hmm. They just want to, they love looking after people, the hospitality. Mm -hmm. So if you know that is your seed, mm -hmm. then how do you want to grow more? Maybe you go to school, you want to go back to school and say, okay, I want to do, um, what is this course they used to do that looking after people? Uh, uh, yeah. Care work or you want to become a nurse or you want, before I knew, I wanted to be a midwife because I love, I delivered my, one of my friend baby when she gave birth. I went to ambulance came, they said I'm buying, I said no, I'm not a <laughs> But it's something I know, but God said no, that is not what I want to do. So when you know the seed, you were able to know that this is a seed God has deposited in me. Maybe your seed is singing, your seed is no business, your seed, then number one, make sure that you have the right people around, around you, you. That's right. that sees the vision the way you are seeing. If not, they will kill the pregnancy. Mm. That seed will die. Mm. But when you are able to surround yourself with people that can, you know, see the seed mm. and are ready to join you, to help mm. you in prayer, in advice, in counseling, mm. to bring it out, mm. then begin to work on it. Mm. Prayerfully work on it. Mm. Ask the Lord to lead you. And the Lord will lead you. Amen. And if, as the Lord is speaking to you to do it, don't waste time. Take the step. You know, the steps of the righteous are ordered by God. Oh, yes. Immediately you detect your... Like when I knew that God has given me the gift of singing, writing. I started writing it. I started, And when it was time for me to go and release it, the Lord... You know, some people will come and say, ah, in this time, this morning, it's where we should. But because you know what the Lord is asking you to do. So I just want to encourage somebody there. Run with your vision. Mm -hmm. Run with your seed. Mm -hmm. Prayerfully run with it. Don't mm -hmm. sit down on it. Rise mm -hmm. and begin to work. run along with that seed. Mm -hmm. And by the time you are doing it, the seed will begin to grow. Amen. Germinate and Amen. bring God seed. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank Amen. you for that wonderful advice. That is awesome. Somebody said destiny helper. My mother Esther Noah said mm -hmm. de destiny helper. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, people that will support you, that will encourage you, that will motivate you, yes. that will that will tell you yes you can do it yes. once they notice that you have it they will always say a positive word to you yes. move close to them they are the destiny helper that Amen. can uplift you and also somebody said lord help me to do your will amen, amen. in the mighty name of amen. jesus god will enable us all in the mighty name of jesus amen. um as we are moving forward if you have any question to ask my beautiful pastor Please type it in. I will read it out for her to to answer. If you have any question at all, just type it in. She will answer you before we round up. We are moving to our <clears throat> um, interaction segment where we ask questions from the scripture. I'm going to time her, but it's open to everybody on the platform. Just contribute whatever you know. It doesn't matter if you get it right or not. I want to learn from you, and I believe you want to learn from her as well. So we are all learning together because the Bible says, iron sharpen iron. When I know it and you know it, yes, we are working on the same direction for the glory of God. Please, if you know the answer, just type it in and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to time you for um, 60 seconds to two minutes. You are laughing. <laughs> I know you are a Bible ah, scholar. I do. <laughs> <laughs> so don't be panic. I'm a I'm just letting you. <laughs> don't be panic, man. Mm, you are all learning. Yes. Holy, Holy Spirit, help me. Help Amen. Me. <laughs> Amen. I'm glad I joined the program tonight. I'm surely blessed. Glory to God Almighty. Thank you, ma, for that contribution. Now let's quickly move into our interaction section, which is about three to five minutes just to remind ourselves about the word of the lord now the first question Ma, is which animal lied in the bible no lied as out. which animal lied in the bible you mean r l i e oh yes animal if anyone knows it on the platform a serpent is somebody telling you? No. <laughs> okay. Is the serpent that uh, I need to, to open my. Is the one that lied to Adam and Eve. Okay. Me? I need to open my eye properly. Nobody, now. Uh, nobody tell me. Uh, nobody. Okay. <laughs> Moving forward, man. The second question. To whom did God promise that she will she will be she will be the one who will crush the head of devil? 
to whom did God promise that she will be the one who will... Never said to the, to the woman that you crush the devil and he will... Um, um, the Lord spoke to Adam and Eve when that they will crush the head of the devil and the devil to a... Which was the name? Eve. <laughs> Nobody is telling me anything. Oh, okay. That's second question. I would like to know if you get it anyway. Eve and, uh, God said it to both Eve and Adam when after eating the 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 apple. Okay. Third the fruit, question. I don't know the food, sorry. Yes, <laughs> Third question. <clears throat> Yeah, I need to open my hand. Nobody <laughs> see <laughs> Okay, now moving forward, man. What was the nationality of Ruth in the Bible? Uh, Moab, Moab, Moabans. <laughs> and the fourth question: What is the name of a woman that Abraham married after Sarah? Um. Oh Jesus. I... Thank you all for contributing. Oh, oh. <coughs> no. You know it. No. Say it now. Ketur no. Ketura <laughs> something. You are asking me. Is it Ketura? No, I get it right. Okay. What is the meaning of Talita Kumi? Little girl arise. Okay. Yes. Which queen along with her cousin wrote the official letter to confirm the face of the poem? Mm? Which queen mm. along with the cousin mm. with her cousin wrote the official letter to confirm the face of Purim? Um Esther Mordecai. Esther Mordecai, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Now the last question. Why did why did the Lord send Jonah to Nineveh? And God sent him to Nineveh to go and preach to the people of Nineveh to repent from their sins. Okay, and why Jonah was angry? Jonah was angry because God forgave them. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because God forgive them. Yeah. So why? He was because he, he was thinking that God should be have punished them for their sins. That he is thinking God is too merciful. So I'm forgiving them with all they have done. Why would God forgive them? And that was I didn't even want to go because he wanted them to perish. Okay, thank you, my God bless you. Yeah. In fact, you got all right. Yeah. <laughs> well done, more wisdom to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Now I will quickly um acknowledge people that answer the question on the platform. <clears throat> oh yes, my beautiful mother Adefunke Oguleke said determination is very important. Oh yes, thank you ma. My beautiful sister Tonyo Logo mentioned snake. Uh, my mother Ogatimiri says snake. Mm -hmm. Mommy Shumbande says snake. Yes. yes, you all got it right. And then Ruth Lawani said yes, she got it. Oh yes, and my mother Esther no. Oh, people are fighting for you. <laughs> Okay, and then the second question was Eve. Yes, mm, so people answered that as well. That's correct. Keturia, yes, that's the answer. Moabite, thank you, my mother got to marry. Um, my mother Esther said arise, and also my sister Tony. Thank you, Ma. We all got it right. More wisdom, more Amen. knowledge to us. And this is a challenge for me, for nobody to get it wrong. So I need to work hard on myself to, to research more and bring new questions. Amen. You know, that is how we can learn. So I can say that we all got all this right, which is awesome. So it means that we are, we are reading our Bible or probably what they are teaching us as church. We did not forget it, which is very important because it is a way for us to continually have that close relationship to God. Mm -hmm. We need to be connected at all times. Mm -hmm. And I pray God Almighty will continue to uphold us all in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Before we um, round up, I promise that you will sing with your natural voice. Can you do that, please? What a bad yes, we What a bad yes, we Colerami, 
What's a bed as we did? Ah, is that all? <laughs> Thank you, Mom. We listen to that in your album. Can you sing a different one? Okay. That's okay. Yes, please. Thank you, Mom. My sophomore, my run the wall, um, bogo tea or fair, um, bella or jessu, a la palla, tosole, a euro, a da bobo is your row, a year at the road. Shati Becarele, a shitty record. Hallelujah. <laughs> Wonderful. Maso Kuma weep no more. And the Bible said to us that when that woman lost her only child, mm. the Bible record that he already lost the husband. Mm. And the only child she has now died. Mm. And they are carrying the cough to go and bury yes. And they met with Christ Jesus. And the Lord said, weep no mm. more. Yes. Immediately he touched the coffin. The Bible reckoned the child was awoke yes. and he was restored. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. I pray tonight, whatever that is causing you an ITS secretly that nobody even knows about it, it shall there shall be an end to you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Through what she sang now, she said, There's nothing impossible for God Almighty. So we shouldn't be worried. Trust mm -hmm. me, even in my sins that is hard. But it is not hard. Once you have that belief in God, then you take the right step to do whatever you need to do. I'm sure once you have that belief, because God loves us to exercise our faith. Once you exercise it, it will direct people that are that are needed to fulfill that thing. It will direct it to our ways. I mm -hmm. pray tonight, whatever that we say that is impossible, God will make it Jesus. possible for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. we are rounding up now. I would like you to appreciate people that you know, they've supported you in the way of your journey. Mm -hmm. um, people that even say yes, because you have converted to Christian, we don't need you here anymore. Mm -hmm. Just step out mm -hmm. and go and fulfill your destiny. It's a great help they have done yes. unto you. You might not realize it, yes. trust me. Even though because you are born with silver spoon as well, proudly say it that every time, but you still fulfill that thing. You yes. still have to step yeah. out. So it's a great step for you to fulfill your destiny, to become that pastor which God has showed you that he really wants you to become, mm -hmm. to win souls for him. The Bible said to us in the, in the Bible, it says to Peter, I will make you a fisherman. Mm. Just drop that net. Mm. Leave that fish for other people to continue yes. fishing. Just follow me mm. and mm. come and win souls to, to, to the kingdom. Mm. And he left it. Yes. When you all saw what uh, Peter have done, yes. he did a very great job that we are able to read about today. So it's good to listen and hearken to the voice of the Lord if God has called. Mm. But if he hasn't called and you think that you want mm. to... Um, do that because of your belly. That's a different thing. But if you truly have that encounter with God and He called you truly, please yield to that call. It's important. Yes. It might be very difficult, it might be discouraging, but I'm begging you that you should please yield to that call because it's the best assignment you can ever done and be happy at the end yes. of the day that yes, you have won so or you have worked for. God Almighty, I pray for God to continue to direct us all in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Because of our time, can we appreciate people that? I would like you? to thank everyone. You know, I had to. I I lost everything because of the salvation I had in Christ. I lost everything. Everything was taken away from me. But I bless the name of the Lord that I still have Christ in me. By the grace of God, before my mom died, she built some houses, shops, and so many things for me. They are there. They are all there. But I am lost. I've, I've, I've come with Jesus. I've gone. I didn't look back. They are there, but I didn't look back because the Lord said, you know, the things I didn't want to do was go God. I never wanted to be a pastor or to be, but the things I didn't want to do was what God asked me to do. And when the Lord took everything away from me because I disobeyed Him. Yeah. It wasn't easy. I was telling my sister, I said, God beat me. Beat me to this ministry. I tell you, I, we lost everything. We, could, mm -hmm. we nearly see paper, call it money, mm -hmm. because of refusing to listen to God. But eventually, I had no choice than to mm -hmm. surrender to Him. You know, you coming back from a rich family and 
mm. facing a lot of things. But I bless the name of the Lord because He's been faithful. He's a faithful God. So, and I want to thank God for all the people that God has really used you know, so, to support me, and they are still supporting me. I have many to mention. I thank God for Pastor Professor Day. You know, I did. That was my pastor whom I gave my life to Christ through him. So I really thank God for his life and mm -hmm. he's always happy, you know, anytime he sees me or see what I'm doing, I bless the name of the Lord. I want to thank God for my mm -hmm. husband. When I said I was not going to answer God, my husband said, then I have to divorce you. <laughs> so it was when I heard that I was so scared. So I had to <laughs> say, Lord, I'm sorry. So I really want to thank God for my husband who has been my backbone. He has been there, my mm -hmm. children. Thank God for them. Mommy Roots, such a wonderful mommy sister. In fact, sister Funke, Ogoleke, God bless you. My daughter Fumila, you are in the lane, which is all that they will be. When you know why your people are so many, so many. My lovely junior sister, be like what my twin brother, and so many, 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 many mommy Jill. In fact, ma. So many to mention. Mm, hallelujah. I'm sorry if I've not mentioned your name. You know all. You know I all love you all. <laughs> I love you all, and I want to thank you so much. Mm. There are some that you know that did me wrong, but I've forgiven them, mm. and I thank God those that believed in my vision, that believed that truly mm. God has called me. I do tell people, why will I live wealth mm. and go and do the work when wealth is there for me? Mm. Me forsaking all those wealth. Mm. And leaving it and you know go with Christ. It's not easy. I tell people if that is easy, you leave everything you have and come and do the work and let me go and take over. <laughs> but, do you know how many times I've been here? I wanted to hear from God that God say, I've not called you to be a pastor. Go and do circular work. I will not even allow that day to finish before I say, Hey. So I just want to thank God for those that believed in my calling and have been there supporting me. It has not been easy, but God has put some people my way. Mm. Though some came and put me down, but I thank God I'm still standing. Hallelujah. It's one yeah. of those things that we will meet mm -hmm. on the journey, but mm -hmm. the ones that are around me that God has put in my life, I really want to thank God. And I appreciate Evangelist Olutayo as well, because she is the one that connected us together. Mm -hmm. I bless God for her life mm -hmm. and every other person. Thank Amen. you so much. Amen. The Lord bless you all and Amen. honor us, honor Amen. you. And those who have joined us Amen. as well, God bless you. Because it's the love you have for us that made you to give right. your time to come and join. God bless Bless you Amen. and many many more of you god bless you all Amen. thank you so much Amen. and thank you ma also for inviting me <laughs> yeah welcome ma. Amen. thank you everyone for supporting my hateful beautiful <laughs> wonderful pastor esther okonoga for for being there for her in mm. fact through those journey that was so epic but here she is praising god here she mm. is in fact, sharing a wonderful testimony, <laughs> which is more than well. It's even more. It's after, more than... You know, after I gave my life, mm. then the Lord took me to heaven to show me so many things. Oh, That's wow. another day. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's coming back to share more to us. <laughs> She's coming back <laughs> to share more, more to us. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Thank you, Ma, for coming. Thank, Thank you, you so everyone. Much, and it shall be well with us all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This is a little gift for oh, us. Sweet and fruit for joining us. Thank you so much, Ma. God bless you. Amen, amen. God bless you. God bless you so amen. much and increase you in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank amen. you so much. Um, because of our time, we need to call it a day. I would like to appreciate everybody that joined us tonight. Thank you so much. You are all awesome and you are all important in the presence of God. Thank you for contributing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for, for commenting. In fact, it is awesome having you on this platform tonight. And I pray God will continually to spare our lives to do better things for him in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I would also like to thank my able husband, Olawale Akishon, the CEO of Safe Omega Media. Thank you so much for being the backbone of this program. May the Lord continue to endow you more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Greater height, I pray for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Till next week that we meet again, I remain loyal to you, Shion Akisha, on a platform tag in Sydney. Please stay tuned and God bless you. Amen.
wherever you might be watching me from all over the world a warm greeting to your heart my name is Shion Akishon I'm using this medium to introduce to you a powerful program on Save Omega Media titled A Seed in Me A Seed in Me A Seed in Me What is that seed in you that is yet to discover? Join me on this program to discuss on how we can discover the seed in us. A seed that can allow you to shine in life. According to the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says, Arise and shine for your glory has come. Without you discover the seed in you, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to grow your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to nurture your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to use your seed to impart life positive, you can never shine. Join me on, on Facebook Live at Safe Omega Media. Thank you and God bless you. But tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you.